Aliyah and welcome back to Cooking with Aliyah International Edition. And today, my friend Teresa is here. Olá, eu sou a Teresa. And you are speaking Portuguese. Yes, because Teresa is from Portugal. So Teresa, I've never been to Portugal. You should. I know, yeah, <laughs> I should. Um, it's in my to-do list. It's pretty close to Morocco. Yeah, it's true. It's not that far from Morocco. And uh, I've never really had Portuguese food. So what do you guys eat? Our food is pretty much the typical Mediterranean food. We eat a lot of fish, we have olive oil, fruits, everything super healthy. Is it similar to Spanish food? It is similar. Of course, some of the ingredients are a little bit different. For example, I feel whenever I go to Spain, I would have more peppers than in Portugal. But overall, we also have the same ingredients. The same ingredients, that's good. I love Mediterranean food in general. So today, Teresa is going to make, is to make us um, a fish dish, but this fish is really strange. So what is the quite the, what's the story with this? All right, this is salted cod. Salted cod was the well, it's a, the most traditional dish that we have in Portugal. We have been eating, I guess, for over 500 years. The sailors used to salt the cod so that they can keep the fish fresh. Well, not fresh, at least. Good. But it doesn't go bad. Yes. Oh, that's why you put a lot of salt. Atlantic. Yes, they yeah. would cross the Atlantic to Brazil or to the US now. And to make sure that the food wouldn't go bad, they would salt it. And today, because we got used to the flavor and really, really like it, we still use a salted cod. And before we cook it... Yeah, we put it in a lot of water. And we're going to show you how to do that. So if you don't have salted cod, you could use any other fish? Yes, it wouldn't have the same flavor, but the one we're going to teach you will work with any fish casserole. Okay, this looks not too complicated. No, it's not that complicated. There is, There are some small bits that might be tricky, but we will be sure to teach you how to make them in the easiest way. And in the end of the day, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, she can do it, you can do it, I can do it, everybody's going to do it. I'm super excited. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's start. So the first step is to get the fish ready. Mm -hmm. You buy a package of fish and you take it out of the package. So it's usually it's in the frozen section. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I found it in the frozen section. Okay. In Portugal it's everywhere. But, okay. but I understand that, maybe in the US. And so you take it out of the package and you put it in water for at least 24 hours. And make sure that you change the water once or two times to guarantee that all the salt is coming out. So what's next? Well, while the fish is boiling, we are going to cook the potatoes and the onions. Mm -hmm. We already sliced the potatoes into small cubes. Pieces, yeah. Pieces. And the onions as well, in rings. And we put the potatoes in water until we use them. This way they don't turn brown. Yes. Okay, no cool. <laughs> this is easy so far. <laughs> yeah. Next, we're going to put the fish in the water and boil it for close to 30 minutes. If you're doing another fish, we would advise you to do a little bit less, maybe 10-15 minutes until it is cooked and soft. For fresh fish? Yes, fresh fish. Okay. But for the cod, it's 30 minutes. 30 minutes is, actually, is usually what it takes. Heat up olive oil in your pan. Add the potatoes. Stir from time to time until the potatoes are cooked. You know that the potatoes are cooked when you can easily split them using your fork. And then you can stop cooking. Place the potatoes in a bowl. Now we are going to cook the onions. Add a little bit more of olive oil, not too much this time, and dump the onions into the pan. Cook the onions on medium heat until they look golden. Now that the onions are golden and soft, we can stop cooking and add them to the potatoes. As you can see, the fish is already soft, which means it's ready for the next step. Remove the fish from the water and place it in a bowl. The third step is to do the bechamel. It can be tricky, so if you want, just to do, just use the one for the store. But it's not that tricky. No, it's simple, you'll see. And but it's worth it. If you want to use the store one, you could use the store. Yeah. Okay, cool. Bechamel time! To make the bechamel, melt the butter on a pan on medium heat. Once the butter melts, add the flour and whisk it well. After a few minutes, add the milk, a bit of salt, pepper and nutmeg. As soon as it starts boiling, mix again. As the bechamel thickens, keep mixing. Our bechamel now has a nice and creamy consistency, so I'm going to stop. Now we have all our ingredients, Yay. so it's the fun part. Fun part, so what do we do? We're gonna start by 
breaking the fish into little pieces. So like just shred it? Yeah, okay. shredding the fish. Okay. That's easy. It is easy. If you have a kid around, it's a good task for him. Mm. Be careful, of course, to let it cool a little bit before doing this. Yeah, it has to cool down because it gets really hot. Okay, and then so we just mix everything? Everything but the bechamel. Yeah. You do a little bit and I do a little bit. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Teamwork! And mix yeah. it in the bowl. Make sure all the ingredients mm, are it smells spread. amazing. This cod smells so good. And it tastes amazing with you. Mm. Oh my. And we didn't put too much salt in no. the potatoes and... Um, we didn't even put salt in the potatoes. Yeah, we didn't put salt on potatoes and in the onions. No. Because the cod is salty. Yes. Okay. The cod itself already has a lot of salt. So we only put salt in the bechamel. Okay. And then what? We just... Spread the brush and add Oh my god, look at this yumminess. Wow, this looks sinful. It is sinful. <laughs> we always eat it at Christmas. It is our like big, big Christmas meal. Oh, really? Finally, broil it for a few minutes and it's ready to serve. So that's it, it's ready. So you broil it on the top so it's golden. Yes, it's gonna be golden. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat this. Let's put it in the oven. Teresa, this smells amazing! Thank you! Okay, now you guys know my favorite part is tasting these things for you. So let's cut it here. Oh my god, so creamy. It's worth every calorie. Oh my god, I'm not worried about the calories. <laughs> but you see it here? Well, I'm making a mess, but delicious. Look at this. You get the fish and the potatoes and the onions and the crispy top. Oof, yum. Mmm, codfish, Portuguese food. How do you say bon appetit in Portuguese? Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. You like it? I love it. The nutmeg is amazing. Yummy. Yeah, I love nutmeg, so I usually put too much. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, no? Mm. Is it okay? This is amazing, and the fish and the saltiness is just right, and it's all creamy. And it's like, oh my god, this is a comfort food. Yep. So, bon appetit, and I hope you try it. See you next time. Thank you. You're welcome. This was fun. Mmm.